Hey you guys, always good to see you here on Grassroots Gardening. Hadn't talked to y'all in the yard in a little while because, well, I've been traveling a lot lately. We were down in Florida for TPIE, the Tropical Plant Expo, which was amazing, by the way. Check those videos if you, if you hadn't. They just came out this past weekend, but tell you what, after today, I need some plant therapy. So I thought it'd be a good time to make a video because uh, we're almost in February and maybe even by the time you see this it's already clicked into february february is a busy gardening month because you know what the following month is is march things are going to be popping open it's going to be it's going to be amazing spring will have sprung grassroots nursery is going to be busy hopefully and uh, just things are going to be going off it's my absolute favorite time of year but we're going to be busy this month doing things like pruning so we've got this beautiful what will be beautiful rising sun red bud as it stands right now and i know it doesn't look like much because it doesn't have any leaves on it but this is my absolute favorite tree of the the moment i guess um this thing has just gorgeous foliage you'll see in the spring and i think i showed it last year too but it's now the time to come in here and prune any of these limbs that you want to get rid of like all these little spindly interior limbs shape it up like we want it now you got to be careful on what trees that you do prune and shrubs especially because things like azaleas and japanese magnolias uh, rhododendrons anything that's going to bloom here in the next month or two or three they're already got the buds so the buds are already set even though you may not be able to see them it's already got its bud set so if you come in there chopping stuff that you're not supposed to you could have to wait an entire year before you get flowers again so my recommendation is if you're uncertain just google it real quick hey can i prune prune my rising sun redbud right now or when's the best time for the majority of your trees japanese maples uh, red buds most fruit trees again there are exceptions uh, now is the time to prune them because everything is dormant everybody's asleep and now is the prime time to do it so Again, after today, I need a little therapy. I'm gonna prune up this rising sun. Then we're gonna go take a walk around the yard, just see what else is happening. Now I've got my trusty Felco number twos. And what I'm gonna do is just, first of all, I always just step back from the tree, see what it's doing. And I can see this one's just got a lot of stuff on the interior of the tree that I wanna get rid of. And then we'll kind of work our way out. And if there's any of, I can't reach those, I would like to, but i'm not going to get the ladder because well i don't think we have time sun's trying to set i would like to snip those two really long ones coming off right there because they're kind of spindly that will promote some more branching down below and just give us a more fuller tree but as for right now i think what i want to do i want to get rid of this guy who's kind of um <clears throat> hanging a little bit low excuse me there hanging a little bit low just so we can expose the trunk and also i've got a uh what was this one black pearl red bud down here so i want to give him a little bit more light a little bit more room to grow so i'm just going to come in here kind of limb that guy up matter of fact you know what i think let's go ahead and take this entire lower limb off right here we're going to stack this there for the time being and we'll come later get it put it in the compost pile the little interior dudes like that guy all these little spindly limbs right in here i'm gonna come get rid of all those anything that's dead see i can just tell by looking at the bark right there that that limb is dead anything diseased dead or dying we want to go ahead right now and get rid of it in the tree will appreciate it greatly and she'll put on a even better show for us this coming spring and then a lot of these that are growing towards the interior of the tree will leave the majority like this guy you see these are growing to the inside but they're far enough away from the crown or the center of the tree so i'm not going to worry about them i just want to open up this canopy a little bit to improve airflow which will help with disease and insects 
not that this tree gets a lot of them but you know generally speaking you want to improve that airflow this thing's got such a cool growth pattern i love how all the limbs grow in this zigzag pattern it just kind of do 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 jumps like that it's just a really cool cool tree and the foliage on this guy will just blow you away there's some in downtown aiken when they leaf out and people see them everybody starts knocking the door down at the nursery looking for it because they are that spectacular i'll find a picture and put it up on the screen right now of one off the internet just so you can see what they do but the colors the transition of colors on this tree are just magnificent come in here just get rid of some of these little little spindly guys and see this guy's kind of going back into the interior get rid of him and then we can come out here on some of these long ones that are reaching and maybe go about right there and that'll promote more lateral branching back here and just give us a fuller looking tree so any of these long spindly guys coming out if we can reach them uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of those and then also the other thing we want to look for is any branches that are crossing one another like see here i know that these guys are going to grow together and touch so we'll just go ahead and prevent that from happening that guy was crossed over this guy's reaching out really long so let's go ahead and come right through here and just cut these tips off and now that'll just give us a much more bushy fuller more leaves which is th that's what this tree is that's how what makes it shine is leaves so the more leaves we can get the more impressive it's gonna be this guy's long reaching under here get rid of that oh this guy's going way out here Hey, my good buddy, Luis. Bye, Luis. See ya. And see, we've got a limb right here going up and through a limb below him. So let's go ahead and get rid of him all together. Another one here growing to the inside of the, of the tree. And y'all kind of get the gist. You know, we just want to shape it up. It's your tree. You can prune it however you want. And that's what I love about gardening is because it is your tree you don't have to listen to me you could do whatever you want to the thing but i'm just giving you a few pointers on how i like to prune and just kind of looking for the uh the end result you know which again with that tree having such spectacular foliage i want to see as many leaves as possible while still allowing airflow to come through there and just keep a nice tree shape so y'all get the gist i'm gonna have to come back and finish that up probably tomorrow but i just want to make a video for you guys because i missed you and uh also encourage you it to, if you can you know we live in the southeast so if you're up north you might be a month or so behind us but february is for us here we're in zone 8b now i got to get used to saying that because our zone changed from 8a to 8b if you are anywhere in zone 7 8 then now is the time to prune up some of your deciduous trees also now is the time too to order any seeds that you want now we did a show or video not too long ago on ordering seeds i've got the majority of the stuff i want there's still a few things left but if we wait until too much longer people start getting spring fever you're gonna start ordering and you might miss out on getting what you want for seeds or now's the time for seed potatoes um, you could be starting some seeds right now for some spring crops like broccoli cauliflower brussels sprouts mustard collards some greens and stuff like that so now would be the time to kind of get a jump start on that and then oh my goodness <laughs> y'all remember the video i did on the pruning of this muscadine last year look at the runners and something else i'm bummed about i just haven't had time to do it this is where if y'all remember i wanted to put that big archway so that the grapevines could grow up and over it but well just hadn't hadn't got around to it 
So we're just going to come in, not right now because I don't have the time, story of my life, um, and uh, prune up this muscadine vine. If you do want to learn how to prune up a muscadine vine, I'll put on the screen right now that video from last year. This thing has just grown incredibly. The other thing we're going to be doing this month, and probably a little bit later in the month of February, is fertilizing. So I don't use a tremendous amount of fertilizer. And I do use all organic. I love the Espoma line of products, whether that be the berry tone, plant tone, garden tone. I like to use those products. Just help feed the microbes in the soil because if you get that soil rich and you get that microbe life really happening down there, that's when you're gonna have healthy plants. Not knocking the other man-made fertilizers, they do work, but they're short-lived. That's why I'll encourage everybody to use the organic microbe added uh, fertilizers such as the Espoma line that not a paid sponsor but I do use a lot because I believe in it and it's worked for me this is gonna be the month we're gonna put a lot of that out well I say a lot you don't have to use that much but this is the month that we're gonna use our Espoma products out in the shrub beds in the garden and the trees to go ahead and get them introduced into the soil then when the soil does warm up all that microbial activity all those microbes are gonna wake up do their thing and really help out your plants and here's proof in the pudding right here so we've used nothing but organic fertilizer in this little raised bed and if you've been watching the channel for any length of time this thing has just kicked butt ever all summer long last year all winter long this year i mean everything is just healthy and as beautiful as it could be now there's they're they're spent they're done they've already flowered and i let them flower just for the pollinators and uh, insects and birds and such. Uh, garlic is still doing good right here. I'll be ready later spring, early summer. We're gonna, I'll probably leave, I, you know, I've, I've not eaten the amount of greens I wanted to out of here. I ate a ton of broccoli, but I'll probably leave it a little while longer, make me some more greens. Then we're gonna rip that up and do our spring, early spring planting. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna throw in here yet. But we'll do that probably March, Aprilish, and let's go see. You know something should be blooming right about now. Let's go see if it is. Oh yeah! Look, it's open, y'all. I did a video on this too. This is our winter blooming Daphne. Oh my goodness, you guys! This is my favorite smelling shrub of all time smells just like fruity pebbles cereal it's so sweet it's just uh you want to eat it or i do at least one of the most fragrant shrubs and and my absolute favorite like legit i love a lot of flowering you know um aromatic shrubs but nothing in my book anyway comes close to winter blooming Daphne. This is uh, Daphne Odora, I believe it is, the Latin name, but oh my goodness. Wish you guys could smell it. Let's see what else. Some out, something, this whole hillside really needs some attention. We need to bring in some more mulch. This guy, I, I don't know if I'm going to try this again. I think we're just a little bit too hot. Uh, yeah, he, you know, he bloomed last spring and he's got like some buds on it. But he's done got diseased. Half of him's dead. This is a Percy Wiseman rhododendron. And I have tried and tried in different spots of the yard to get this dude to live. Thought I had it last year. He was doing real good. But again, I just think it's too hot. And when it was July and August, he started fading. And uh, maybe just didn't get enough water. I don't know, but I think I may have to give up on old Percy. But then our Linton rose. Ooh, look here. These are kind of uh, hidden blooms, if you will, for the most part on these Lenten, Lenten roses or hellebores. But look at that beautiful bloom right there. And the reason I say they're hidden is because they kind of weep down. You see how the flower, and I'm holding it up right now, but its natural form is to kind of weep down and bloom towards the ground. There are some new cultivars that are doing, you know, have more upright blooming pattern look at that beautiful color in there man i gotta get some more of these these have never been 
like my favorite my mom grew a lot of hellebores and they just never really did it for me but now with some of these newer cultivars coming out i think we may have to get us a few more varieties and give them a try they love uh, a shady more shady area and it's just hard to find anything that's blooming especially with something this gorgeous um you know in the month of of february when it's cold and then i see a couple more spots of color up here in in the yard we gotta come around and prune our little baby japanese maple soon so much to do y'all it's just like the list goes on and on and on and february is a short month but it's a daggum busy one and over here we've got some uh, let's see this is winter jasmine great ground ground cover i know i've done a video of it in the past it kind of leaps kind of walks so all these stems will just reach out find the soil root jump again jump again so really good for erosion control bank control and that's why i've planted it here here's a much better example of why i planted it where i did so i planted it up on the top of this area here it's having some trouble with washing but you can see this thing's only about two years old maybe maybe three but it's uh it's already starting to run really good so you can tell where those limbs have gone down touched the ground now a whole new clump is forming there and it'll just keep doing that all over this bank hopefully and get a whole good good coverage and then you get these beautiful yellow flowers in in february and even this old nandina as scraggly as it is has got some winter interest those beautiful red berries kind of scraggly not exactly sure what happened to him look he got weed eated down at the bottom but um you know still a beautiful beautiful shrub i do believe these berries are poisonous correct me if i'm wrong in the comments below but I'm pretty sure they're poisonous so don't go eating them and then let's check on our blueberries which i never came back and mulch said i was gonna do it but i didn't but anyway they're doing good look at all the buds on these guys man we're gonna eat some delicious blueberries off of these this is you know we planted these what a month ago we, we compared the tiff blue with the uh, brightwell over here and he's all budded up too and so they'll bloom at the same time be able to cross pollinate with each other and give us some big old blueberries this vitex right here this is another one that needs to be pruned right now i have to add him to the list he is going to be a job too buddy look at all of those stems <laughs> in there i was going to take a take a minute or two our weeping yopon holly you could prune him up right now if you wanted to the birds have been enjoying all of the berries they just about picked him clean they've been i've just been watching them come and just eat the berries off of him so this is a uh, weeping yopon uh, ilex vomitoria is the latin name for that one this is the weeping form beautiful shrub well the sun is setting folks let's go in the greenhouse and check on our mater plants real quick like we still got camellias blooming isn't that beautiful i tell you what it just does my soul good to walk around this yard even if it's just for 20 minutes and hang out with you guys look at all the stuff that's happening and know that just literally right around the corner spring is going to be here and uh i'm gonna have a smile from ear to ear right hey kona how you doing buddy hey miss millie did y'all enjoy that apple i gave you a while ago don't bite yourself don't bite yourself be nice i know you hate me but i love you but i'm not getting my finger close enough for you to take it off sorry buddy ain't happening not today all right let me shut up talking to the birds let's take a look i had to come in and prune some suckers off of these things yesterday and they've been going pretty slow a lot slower than i had hoped you know we've uh let's see we might have lost that bloom set that we had down here these conditions are just it's just been cold and not a lot of light but here's some more bloom sets coming out so cross your fingers Hopefully these will open up. We can pollinate them and get us some, some big old tomatoes 
this guy he's been lagging behind kind of spindly down at the bottom i haven't fertilized these at all got another sucker right here and i haven't fertilized these because we were trying out that mater maker soil you remember when we planted these a few months back so i just want to see what they what the soil alone you know will do because it said on here i forget where i think you could said plant directly in the bag but mater maker if you can see that so that's why i'm just experimenting not fertilizing but i do have all of my spoma this is the product i was telling you guys about a little while ago holly tone citrus azalea got all them ready to go here soon we've got our biotone plant starter for when we do get crazy in the spring and start planting new plants we'll use that but other than that just the greenhouse is just hanging on through the coldest part of the winter right now red moon philodendron Ooh, look and a new leaf coming out on him this thing has this is my favorite rare house plant right now i mean how could it not be with those colors it's just phenomenal let's see what we got going on over here i don't think a whole lot of nothing i did fertilize the orchids over the weekend but they still need some major major attention they need to be potted up i've got scale growing on a couple of them see that right there got to get in here and spray there's just been a lot a lot going on at the businesses recently man you know if i'm not going to shows we're doing winter maintenance on a lot of the big equipment for the landfill and the sand businesses trying to do a lot of irrigation work down at grassroots we've been having some saturday shows with uh having some guest speakers come in which this past weekend was amazing we had 85 or more people show up so we're going to do it again this saturday with a weed uh let's see winter that's how to get rid of weeds in your yard i can't remember the exact title of the the talk but mr gerald stevens is going to be giving that and that brings me to another point uh, i think what i'm going to start doing is filming these saturday events so that uh, you guys who don't live close can just simply go and watch the the video and hopefully learn some great you will learn some great information because the guys that we have come in are just super knowledgeable plant nerds like my idol plant nerds so so i think that'll be something cool to add to the channel just a little something different you know somebody else bringing bringing something to the table look at what this lemon tree is bringing to the table oh man ah it smells heavenly man look at the blooms on this dude he is getting he's ready for springtime for sure i've used a couple of lemons so far but i need to come get these three matter of fact i waited too late on that guy didn't i he's already starting to rot let's go ahead yeah he just literally fell off that's a shame i shouldn't have done that but matter of fact you know what while we're talking about it let's just go ahead and pick this one we'll see if maybe we ain't got a bottle of tequila inside maybe we'll take a take us a shot because it has been a hell of a day i mean a hell of a day but it's over now so anyhow i'm gonna let you guys go appreciate you watching hit that like and subscribe down there for me thank you for all the comments you've been sending lately it means the world to me the more you know the more you grow see you on the next video Y'all have a great afternoon. When life gives you lemons, use them. <laughs>